Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. And today, I have an industrial quickie for you. Behind the world of computers that you know is another secret world of computers that literally makes everything on the planet and all the manufactured stuff off the planet, too. Um, these industrial control systems bring you water, take care of wastewater, pharmaceuticals, make Coca-Cola, uh, make your iPhones, generate electric power, and they depend upon sensors like this uh, to measure temperature and pressure and flow as a function of pressure, uh, vibration, and so forth. So these sensors are needed by the control systems that makes everything in modern society that you enjoy, and they're often overlooked. In order to use these sensors, they need to be configured and calibrated to work properly, which brings us to this communicator, not one of these communicators. This communicator that allows us to configure it and calibrate it so that it operates properly. And today, for our industrial quickie, we're going to take it apart. This video is sponsored by FoxGuard Solutions. They provide patch and vulnerability information for all of your industrial control system equipment. Here we have a Rosemont Heart Communicator software version 6.2. So what is this thing? By the way, this is a computer. Two more screws and we are in. All right, here goes. Let's see what falls out. Nothing. Actually, it's sort of all connected together. But here's a ribbon cable, and it looks like that's some header right there. Chances are I can pull this connector off without breaking anything. That looks like there's another connector behind it. This board's kind of wiggly in there. And we have one more ribbon cable. Looks like in there going up to the screen. There we go. This would be the board controller, I mean the uh, display controller. Looks like these are for the keypad. Then her heart signal comes out of these two terminals. And they are just clipped into here. Let's get these out. I'm sure this is a small enough tool. Not usually a problem I have. Okay, there we go. And we've got one more, it looks like, here. This is from the power, power clips. There we go. About these two boards. It looks like they're connected together with these header pins. Now they're completely separate. Chips, by the way, if can you see the shine? Yeah, I think you can. Um, on this board, it's got an epoxy coating, a conformal coating, which uh, helps make the board resistant to corrosive environments like salt spray or or um, other things that might corrode these traces. It's got that conformal coating on both of these boards. All except for these three chips down here with these suspicious white labels on them. 
what do you think those may be? Those are going to be um, UVE proms, where all the code is stored for this device. Start out with this board. It's a little simpler. Uh, this is just the modem for the device. It does the communication. Right, we have our heart signal coming in here uh, and there, so it's pretty obvious. Uh, as a matter of fact, this uh, chip right here is an uh, a Bell 202 FSK modem. Uh, Bell 202. Does that sound familiar? That's your uh, regular dial-up. If you did dial-up, uh, that's the same protocol run by this chip. It's fed by this 4.4 uh, megahertz crystal. Uh, that's a multiple of the frequencies that it can use. Um, and that uh, frequency shift keying rides up on top of the 4 to 20 milliamp signal that normally comes out of those uh, sensors. The sensors are called transmitters. Um, but the neat thing is because it's a sine wave, its sum is zero. So over a, a longer time period, the 4 to 20 milliamp loop doesn't see this FSK uh, data on top of it. All right, this board, this is a little more interesting. By the way, if so if we look at these chips, we see like 9342, 9330, those are date codes. Most of these are, are 93 date codes. So um, this is a 93-ish device, maybe a little later. Do they have a code clearance? It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. So what do we have? This is the microprocessor uh, that runs this. This is the computer that runs this. Of course, it's a computer. Everything is a computer, right? Everything's a computer. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is a Z80 computer, um, a clone, it's Z80 compatible. Um, this is its I.O. Uh, port uh, board up here. Uh, over here we have 8K of static RAM, uh, and then we have these three ROM chips. I peeled the uh, paper off to see what size they were and put it back. Um, this is a 32K, and then both of these are 64K. Over here are a couple of octal latches. I, at first I thought they'd scratch the number off of this thing because you couldn't see it, but I'll show you a trick for reading it here in a second. We have, right, 160K of ROM. This uh, Z80, they had a 16-bit address bus, so uh, it's probably using these latches uh, to add a few more bits, it'll need at least what 18 bits or so uh, to get to all of all this memory. This is its clock. It runs at four uh, four megahertz. Right, that's that's a pretty nice little clock for one of those devices. So if you were going to read the data uh, that's on these EEPROMs, you can pull them out. This is probably not the official way of doing this like this uh, and try not to bend the pins like that. You can pull them out uh, and put them in a reader uh, like this. Then we can read the data off of it if we want to uh, reverse engineer it. And we could rewrite them or maybe rewrite them on some blank ones. Um, in order to program this type of device, you pull these chips out uh, and then you erase them. This is my uh, eraser. Uh, it's a UV lamp and shining light in these windows uh, on the chips erases them. When they're erased, they, they all turn to ones. And then this writer can change them to zeros, effectively writing the code on there. So maybe I'll pick one of these other chips. I've got a few of these. I notice that this one says, um, it's the right size, but it says Sinclair 128. Um, so this is probably the uh, firmware for a Sinclair computer. I wonder if we could put that on this box. Look, Monte, I, I'm not sure why I have to take time out of my day to tell you how bad of an idea this really is. Seriously, man, I don't even know why I employ you. Okay. 
Okay, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh yeah, Z80. Uh, has anybody ported Doom to that yet? So this is the chip that I thought um, might have had the numbers scratched off. Manufacturers do that sometimes for various reasons. But if you get if you get another light and you kind of graze it and get the angles right, uh, you can start to bring that bring that number in uh, where you can see it. So that's not too bad. That's pretty plain right there. So that's with the light on, light off, light on. Uh, and that's why I was able to read these two uh, near the end. Now, one more thing of one more thing to look at here. One more thing to notice as I'm looking around on these chips. Uh, we have, for instance, look at a couple of these Motorola chips. Um, Right, nice clean lines, clean logo, um, clean text. Uh, if we look at another one of these chips, we get we get pretty much the same thing. Nice lines, nice logo, nice font, uh, and basically all of them look like that, except for this one. Look at that. I mean, this um, logo looks a little off center. Um, the font is different. It may be, this R may be a little misaligned compared to the C. I mean, that looks a little odd. Like, is that potentially a counterfeit chip there? Uh, I don't know if anybody else has one of these. Uh, 74 HC 32 AN uh, from 93 uh, and have a picture of it uh, link it in below I'd, I'd like to see uh, that's it just doesn't look clean like uh, you know like I would expect them to look all right well that is fascinating thanks for joining me today on Coke and strippers industrial quickie taking a look at this heart communicator. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend. If not, share it with an enemy. In any case, don't forget to spend all your money on Coke and strippers. I wonder what would happen if I put this Sinclair chip in here.